got something a little bit different for you today. Rather than the usual kind of lane bashing and camping, tripping, that sort of thing. We've got a bit of a recovery job going on. Now, late last night, this chap put a picture up on the Discovery 3 and 4 owners group saying that he needed help and he needed roll with Discovery 4 on Green Lane. Now, it looks pretty bad and not 100% sure whether we can actually get him out. Um, but we're gonna go, we're gonna have a look and we're gonna try our bloody best. Um, we are gonna have a look over it and see what happens. So, yeah, let's see what, how we get on. <laughs> So this is how we found the disco. I can tell you now it looked more upside down in reality than it does in the pictures and videos. Now the owner was the only person in the disco when it rolled and he was completely unharmed and actually he seemed pretty calm about the whole situation. Definitely more calm than I would have been. So the first job was to find a suitable place to rig a strap on the underside of the disco. We chose the rear suspension arm and we were able to get a strap around the rearmost leg of the arm to try and pull the back end of the disco round a bit, as well as lifting it off. So as the disco came round, the rock sliders were actually digging into the bank and acting as a pivot point. I'll give an explanation as to how we actually rolled the disco later on in the video. From here we chose to move the strap to the forwardmost leg of the lower suspension Perfect. arm to get the pull more central. We couldn't actually get the strap around the chassis because of the fuel tank and we couldn't get it around the body mount. As you can see from some of the shots we were using a snatch ring and a soft shackle attached onto the strap. This way we could double the power of the winch while also slowing it down a bit which provided a nice controlled pull and we placed a winch blanket over the line close to the snatch ring should anything go wrong. Now the winch fitted on my disco is a Warn Z on 12S Platinum. It's got a 12,000 pound rating so it was plenty enough for the job. As you'll see here, as the disco starts rolling back onto its wheels, I release the tension off the winch line to avoid damaging any of my equipment and that will be the, the winch noise you'll hear as it comes down. Once we pulled the disco over, we could finally get a good look around it and see the damage. Now, despite the bodywork being a bit past its best, it was actually still pretty straight. The doors even opened and closed as if it was brand new. Obviously there was a fair amount of debris, but I come prepared with a brush, spade and a bin bag and set the lads to work clearing up the mess. Now this was how we had the disco set up for winching and we actually used a couple of wheel chocks in front and behind the wheels and where we were placed we were against the natural bank so it was pretty solid. 
So the next job from here was to get the disco down off the track. And to do that, we had to pull the manual neutral release, which is underneath the cup holders on one of the eight speed discos. And once we got it into neutral, we attached myself to the front and Ben to the rear to act as a brake and uh, began the long process of dragging it down off the hill. Now, those of you that know Happy Valley will know that at the start of it's actually a pretty chunky rock section. There's some tight bits of some up and down rock crawl sections, a bit of all sorts. I actually had to engage the lockers on a couple of occasions just to sort of drag the, the dead disco up as well as myself up some of these uh, steep inclines. So once we got the disco off the lane, it was over to the professionals. Now, sadly for the, the owner of this car, the professionals took at least 24 hours to actually get to him which made our 14 hour response time seem pretty rapid actually. Now as promised earlier on, this is my high tech recreation of what actually happened. Now I got a bit of stick for this picture, but I think it's pretty good and it was actually too good to leave out of the video. It does exactly what it says on the tin. Basically they've gone around the big bog, which those of you that know Happy Valley will know there's a huge bog. So they've gone around it, and when he came back onto the track, he basically slipped sideways. Everyone else had managed to do a bit of a reverse shuffle job and, and they came down the, the, the steep bank square. This chap missed his line by a couple of inches at the most. And uh, this is the, the sad consequence of that. And lastly, I just want to say thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully it's been informative and I'm open to any feedback on the recovery. There's things that I already know that I'd do differently, but I'd like to hear what you could come up with. Let me know in the comments below. If you're not already, please consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a bit of a like on the video. Share it around as well. It's a bit of an educational video. And uh, hopefully we'll see you on the next one.